Welcome to PrairieFoxSurvival.com. I'm Richard, and today we're doing a quick video. Uh, we don't want to get into total survival or anything in this because it would be too long. We'll break it into parts. But we're looking at different emergency lighting that you can use around your house. Uh, some of them when you're out camping in a tent, whatever. And we have three of them that we kind of go by. Of course, we have our standard flashlights around, which they're okay here and there, but not really that fond of them. And one of them I would like to show you, because we do test every light and see how it works before we'll ever comment on it. And this one was bought at Gander Mountain. It's called Omega Bright. And the purpose of it, I turned it on. You crank the handle, it's on the bottom. You crank the handle for a minute and then flip it back into its position. And we turned it on one time and it retained a light for about 12 to 14 minutes. Now, what they were so proud of this light on is in the top with that bulb, you can use it as a flashlight or you can use it as a lantern. It doesn't put out that much light when it did work the one time, but by rolling the bulb, you then have your lantern light. You then flip it over, roll it again, and you have your reading light, which will adjust and shine down, which if it worked, you could read by it. I will say that, but you'd be cranking it about every 12, 13, 14 minutes. Now this does have a battery case to it, and we tried it with the batteries too, and it wouldn't work. So this one, <clears throat> we will be taking back, and I don't recommend buying it. Uh, the other one, which all of you have probably heard <clears throat> on TV, is the old Boston Lantern. Now, we went through all the reviews on it, and we got our two in. I have another one over there that we are going to show you a test of these three lights in a closet we have that's 8 by 16 foot long. Now, this, this lantern right here, the Brooklyn, has been burning for 52 hours right now. I'd turn it off of the night and turn it back on in the morning so I could know if it did go out how many hours I had on it. A lot of people said they weren't impressed with the battery light. It takes two D cells. And I am impressed at 52 hours what it's told me. And I, I am gonna end the closet, put the other one in there that has brand new batteries that's never been turned on. And these aren't expensive batteries. They were bought at Dollar Store. At 52 hours, there is a little bit of difference, but not that much. Now to say it's gonna light up an entire room, uh, well, no, it isn't. Uh, like my living room alone is 800 square feet. And it might light up, uh, I'm sure it light up 10 by 10 or 10 by 12 room. It's not going to give you the illumination that a uh, regular light's going to give you. But you would be able to manipulate, do what you want, even after, say, 52 hours. And this just works off of a dial right in the front. And I would have to give this one an A+. Plus. It's... It's very good. If a person had two of them in an extreme emergency situation without lighting, he could easily go a month, say in the winter time, where in West Texas it gets dark at six o'clock. Well, as you start pushing 70, uh, you're usually in bed by around 10. So that would be four hours we would be using it at a night. And then say an hour, an hour and 15 minutes of the morning and making your coffee, doing whatever till the sun comes up around seven o'clock. In the summertime, you would probably get, oh, too much use out of eight batteries, just using one lantern at a time, of course. And so to me, that's a very good deal. 
Now this little flashlight here is four and a half inches long. It's made in China, believe it or not, but by Gander Company. And I am fully impressed with it. It's very small, easy to handle, and the light it puts out is just unbelievable. It uh, never look at an LED light directly, but as you can see, it illuminates very well. This has no batteries, works strictly off the crank of a handle. You always turn them off before you crank it. And this one, I'm not going to crank a long time because it's been done. You crank the handle for one minute, and then the light's ready to go. Now, this one was tested by just leaving it burning, and on one crank for a minute, this lasted an hour and 45 minutes and still had weak light left in it. And actually, when I go back to Gander, I'm going to take this one back, and I'm going to get two more of these. I... I think it's one of the greatest small flashlights I've ever had. And then, of course, here in West Texas, living in the country where we lose power quite a bit, uh, we go by what they call the hurricane light or the kerosene lantern, as we call them. We keep four of them around. And I'm totally sold for the cost of them. You, you can buy them, they're very cheap. And a gallon of kerosene, we hadn't filled ours, of course we don't use them all the time, but we don't fill ours, uh, gosh, in four years. But a gallon of kerosene would last you, if you weren't using it constantly, uh, probably all through the winter. So that's three lights that I wanted to show you. And we don't know how the next part of this video is going to go. We're going to move into a closet that's kind of cramped. But I'm going to try to show you just a little bit of the difference on the three lights, what they'll do. Okay. All right. We're in kind of a confined area here. Right now, you're looking at about... Oh, 14, 15 feet. I'm kind of trying to stay to the side here. Now, this is the lantern that has 52 hours on it, on the batteries. And I don't know how well you can see it in the video. From the other end, we can tell what everything is. Of course, it's not illuminating, illuminating like it should, or I wouldn't say like it should, like some of the people expect it to. But... I can read everything here. I can look around. I can even read stuff on the other side of the shelves and all that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this one over. Keep enough light where we can motivate in here. And I'm going to turn the new one on and this one off. And... As you can see, it's quite a bit brighter. I could read a book, with, of course, without glasses even. I could read a book by that as a new light. I wouldn't really care to, but it would be quite possible. And so the difference there, if I move this over and move this over, if I turn them both on, you can see the brightness there. And as you can see, it does dim down, but 52 hours of use. I'm very pleased with it. And with that, I'm going to move this one out of the way. And I'm going to ask Deanie to cut the camera off and turn on the light for just a minute. Now, with our gander light, as you can see, standing at about... Oh, 14 foot away it shows very bright and you could easily manipulate through a small area as this or a large room and have plenty of light to see by so big difference right there and now the old standby as my wife tells me I'm over the hill and out of date 
and it's now called an oil light, well, it's still a kerosene lamp to me, and you can burn kerosene in them, but I'm going to bring a kerosene lamp in here and show you what that does. Did you turn it off? Okay, we had to change lanterns. I hadn't checked the one. I couldn't see through it. And we were out of wick in that one. We have plenty of wick in this one. So as you can see, this flame can be adjusted high. Of course, you're burning a lot of smoke then. Or adjusted to a medium flame in which you can easily manipulate and see around. These lanterns are so cheap to use and they last forever. So between the three of them, that gives you some idea in case of emergency, say as in the case of Sandy where they lost power for a month uh, and some of them more, you could manipulate with these and get by with this. So if you folks have any solutions that you use, we would like to hear your ideas and your comments and what you think about it all. And so until next time, from PrairieFoxSurvival.com, have a good day and thank you for coming.